friends welcome to sales for helping and channel so today i am going to discuss about the lwc interview question and answer so these questions are basically asked me uh, in couple of interview right so let's start with the question first which is you know very important what is the life cycle hook in sfdc and also explain the use case and uh, also write the syntax for it how you can uh, you know use it so that is one of the questions they ask me and uh, they also ask me to write the syntax for it right and the next question they ask me what order life cycle hook executed what is the order of execution for it right so as you know like we have a, a constructor connected callback render callback disconnected callback and error callback right so these all we have and they ask me what are the order of execution for it so uh, you have to uh, read about your uh, i mean from yourself because i'm just giving the question to you answer you can find by research and you know doing the implementation the next question they ask me let's say uh, we have a three component component a component b and component c so if i want to execute here uh, you know uh, life cycle hook so how it seems to be work so you have to define the how it just calling to you know b b to c and how these all uh, life cycle hook methods are working uh, let's say constructor connected callback render callback disconnected callback right so how these all will all will work in that scenarios so that was the questions and uh, the next question is how to render multiple templates or conditional templates uh, rendering in lwc right so we have a two template and we want to render in on the basis of conditions so how you can do that so that is the also one of the questions they ask me and the common questions you know what are the decorator in lwc right so this is something you know they can ask you if you are uh, kind of two or three years of experience so they will ask you and uh, the next question is in how many ways we can call the apex class from the lwc or they can also ask how we can uh, uh, retrieve the data from uh, you know server using the apex code so how you have to define it right so there are two ways and they can also ask what are the difference between you know imperative call and uh, using the wire method right so you should also aware about it and uh, these things like you should you should have the implementation or you should have the proper knowledge about it like how it just going to be uh, in practical knowledge right the next question is how to refresh wire methods records as you know wire methods we have to, it's just i mean uh, static in kind of so to make it uh, dynamic so we use the i mean to refresh the apex so we use the uh, ref uh, refresh apex uh, right so that's the you know package we can import in our uh, lwc component and the next question they ask me can we put multiple decorator in a single property or method so answer is no because execute engine will not aware which property and method to execute first right so that is the also one of the question there and next question was can we edit the value of property in child component which send by the parent component so let's say you have a two component component a component b component is a parent component and component uh, b is a child component so you are just sending some data or like some uh, uh, kind of property you are uh, transferring from uh, parent component to child component so they are asking is there possible we we, we can will be able to edit that property the answer is no but we need to this if we exactly need this so what we will do there we will clone the values and update right then we can update it so first of all we have to clone that value or method in our component then we can use it but directly we cannot use it right so the next question they ask me what is the type of component in salesforce lwc component right so as you know we have a application event we have a component event and we have a system event and they ask me what is the difference between lightning event and the aura component event so that's question you also need to uh, understand and the next question they ask me can we call lightning component uh, from the aura component and vice versa can we also call the you know aura component from the lightning component so you have to give the answer if it is no then why it is right and they also ask me like if there is already uh, aura component then why we need the lwc component framework right so they also ask me this question so you have to justify your answer with the uh, proper uh, implementation what you did and what you achieve so they are not you know going to looking for uh, some theoretical part you can read from the google or like youtube but they are asking like what exactly you feel the experience while you are implementing lwc component or you are doing the aura components so that is something you have to keep in your mind while you are doing 
And the next question they ask me, what is the use or like explain the namespace in the Salesforce Lightning component? Why we use the namespace and what is the, you know, uh, uh, benefit or like advantage to using it LWC component, right? The next question they ask me, what are the bound and unbound expressions? What are the bound and unbound expressions? So just keep it uh, remember, right? The next question they ask me, what are the lightning locker in the SFDC, right? So what are the lightning locker? Why we use the lightning locker and uh, what exactly scenario you have uh, implemented in your projects? So you have to also give the example for it. The next question they ask me, how we can import the custom label in LWC? Let's say you need the uh, you know custom label, then how you can do it? So they ask me to write the syntax for it, right? and uh, they also ask me like let's say you need to uh, use the data binding in two ways so they ask me to write the uh, two file html file for it and also the js file how you can pass the data from html file to js file and how you can retrieve the response from the js to html right so you have to be also practice on that sometime you know we are just doing the uh, coding but we are not exactly remember the syntax syntax sometime fine but you know some are the interviewers there so they definitely you know not uh, okay with it they are required the uh, you know syntax i face this kind of uh, challenge in my last interview so the interviewer asking you should know the syntax all the syntax you should know uh, that is fine but uh, uh, i mean that's totally up to the interviewer how it's going to deal it so next question they ask me what are the things which we can do in constructor right so we in H uh, javascript file we have the constructor so what are the things you can do there so that's you need to explain right so there are couple of actions you can do and uh, next question they ask me how we can call the flow from lwc component please give the example and appropriate uh, uh, syntax for it what salesforce lwc framework provide the syntax for it just provide the example and what data you can pass right from lwc component to flow right so the next question is very important how you can communicate so communication is very important right because we we create the generic component in salesforce uh, uh, right and we we want to use it we are not just you know having the uh, same component and we are making it you know different different things so we just want to always keep in mind while we are writing the apex code or while we are writing the lwc component so we always create the generic uh, uh, you know code right so that's what they ask me uh, how you can communicate from uh, first of all they ask me what how many types of uh, you know communications is uh, feasible in lwc component so as you know like there are three types of communications we can do first is parent to child second is child to parent and third one is when there is no relationship between those two those two component right so you you can also do that right so these three questions are very important <laughs> and one last question they ask i mean i mean not the last so they ask me one more question what is the event propagation right so what is the event propagation in lwc component so they also ask me this question and the next question they ask me what is the event bubbling and capturing what is the event bubbling and capturing how you can use in your lwc component and what is the meaning of it right so they also ask me this question and the next question is what are the best practice while you are writing the lwc component do you follow or like if you follow so what are the those best practice right so you also keep in mind while you are uh, going for interview uh, the next question is how we can use the share and javascript code in between two components so there is using the import and export library in salesforce you can use the javascript code between two component right so let's say i have one javascript file which is you know having the calculation uh, calculator kind of javascript file and i want to call it that particular uh, uh, you know uh, javascript call from the one of my components so in that case i can just um, uh, you know export that component from there and import in my uh, javascript code and there i can use it now the very important question is what is a shadow dom in salesforce lwc right and why it is used and as you know like we'll always talk about the dom while we are you know explaining the uh, life cycle hook so then interviewer ask what is the difference between dom and shadow dom so you also give the uh, kind of you know example or scenarios where you implemented so why i'm saying these because while you are giving the uh, you know example to them so they will be able to understand exactly you implemented somewhere right so they you are not just having the theoretical knowledge so you can just give your references of your project so what whatever project you have done till yet so you you, you can just give the references or let's say 
you having some basic practice in in your basic practice you did it apart from the project so you can also explain that part but it seems to be you know uh to so like you have the exact implementation knowledge i mean the practical knowledge not just the uh you know kind of theoretical knowledge the next question they ask me what are the slots in lwc and why these slots are used and if so they ask me like they they want to understand basically if i am if i have worked or not in these uh, scenarios right and the next question they ask me how you can handle the uh, you know error kind of things in uh, let's say there is some error occur so how you will implement the exception handling basically the meaning is how you can handle the exception handling in lwc component right so that was the they question that question they asked me and uh, they also asked me two very important questions so i have a lwc component i want to communicate in visual force pages or aura component or some other uh, you know uh, third party things right javascript uh, framework so what is the uh, you know scenarios for it so the answer is using the uh, lightning message services what you can do you can easily call aura component you can easily call uh, i mean calling means like communicate uh, from there to uh, that visual force pages or you know aura component right so that is the way and the last but not the least that is lightning data service what is the lightning data service and why it is useful in salesforce right what are the advantage for it and uh, can you just write the one code for you know implementing a lightning data service so that was the you know part of uh, the theoretical part and some kind of implementation they asked me to do in lwc component uh, the next question they asked me uh, can you write one com uh, lwc component which is you know using uh, we are calling one uh, apex class which is retrieving the account all the account which has the you know proper interest or something right and then we need to iterate those contact uh, sorry uh, account and contact on the uh, html file right so they basically i want to understand if you have work on that how you can use the syntaxes or you know your logic for that how you can call the apex class from the lwc components so that's what they ask me uh, to do this and uh, sometime they can also ask you aura component uh, question or answer if you have worked in, in past right so they can also ask those questions so yeah i mean this is all about for now but definitely I'll give you posted more question answer on lwc component okay bye Have a great day.